Here is a snake that's just getting ready to shed. So what he's doing, he's looking to catch that shed and just lift it so he can start rolling it. Oh, you got the you got the edge. His right edge. It's sad. I'm listening to Tom Petty in the background, and he's dead. That was super talented songwriter. Oh yeah. So this is what happens when you have totally captive raised snakes that are just used to people. This animal isn't phased by my spectatorship. He's just going about what he does. And that's what it's all about, just being able to see these animals do what they do. That, that shed starting to lift. There you go. Alexa, next. I'm to give him a little bit more dramatic song to shed too. That opening their mouth and yawning a lot, that's definitely all, I think, part of it. This is probably quite a relief once you get the shed going. Oh, look at that. One thing that's key is when you are basically uh, keeping these animals, you want to make sure that their humidity is right. You always hear me talk about humidity and their moisture levels and stuff like that. Because if we dry them out, and we desiccate them, so that means that their ambient environment, the humidity, is uh, is too low. And what it does is basically takes away the available moisture that that snake represents. So the snake's body is slowly losing uh, moisture as it respirates, and also just sitting on dry surfaces. You know, it, it basically something dry will rob something you know with more moisture content, or wick it away essentially. And the same thing applies to uh, you know, a snake. So we want to be really on point about humidity and uh, making sure we're giving everything when they're, when they're going to go into a shed. So you know, the whole process takes a little bit. So when you have a snake and it's getting ready to shed and you notice the eyes start turning blue, that's a really good indicator to make sure you're on point about the humidity. And if it has a you know, hide area, I would suggest you can put anything from a nice clean towel that's damp like really well wrung out washcloth kind of damp and you can put that in the, the hide box sphagnum moss peat moss any kind of substrate that's you know pretty clean and that you can basically add uh, moisture to and then the animal is going to sit there and stay in there like a moist uh, retreat basically like a burrow and we want to imitate that and what happens is when that animal has the uh, proper ambient humidity when it sheds it's going to have often like one big complete shed and you're going to everything's going to be right the animal when it's time for it to shed it's going to find it pretty easy 
to sloth its skin. So this guy over here, we can't really see it, but he's over there rubbing on that little thing. And uh, there he goes. And I guess shedding is a slow process, so. But it's really interesting to, to catch them right when they're doing it in the beginning. So I guess I'll stop boring everybody. But I just pulled this guy out of his drawer so he can play in his... I have like a playground area for these guys. Keeps opening his mouth. Maybe one last shot. Oops. No, I was hoping he was gonna cooperate. He's shy. Okay. I'll come back and do more if there's anything worthwhile. I'm going to rub against everything. Say goodbye.